so in the previous video i have talked about creation of the template and uh, as i told you that in this video i'm going to talk about creating export profile and the further workflow of the module so now let's start so in the dashboard in the left hand side you can see this product option so you will click on this uh, to create a new product so for that you need to click on this create button here you will find two options product and the product model so you will click on product if you want to create a simple or a virtual product or if you want to create a configurable product with variation so you will click on this product model option and uh, after that you will just click on this uh, uh, export icon that you can see in the left hand, left hand side in the dash to create a export profile so i'll be now just clicking on this uh, export button and uh, after that here you can see the list of already created uh, list of already created export profile so now if you want to create a new export profile you will cre click on this create export profile button now here you'll have to fill up certain details like the code level and the job required so after that you have to select the job profile and then uh, you have to create export profile by clicking on this save button so now let me give it a name or code that is a uh, product csv export and after that I have to give it a level so let me give it the same level like product CSV export 1 and after that you you just need to scroll it down here to select a job profile and you will just scroll it down and you will find this uh, csv webcool csv connector so under this you can find this csv product export so you will select this and you will click on this save button to create a export profile so you can see that export profile has been successfully created here now i'll be talking about the further settings or the further configuration that you need to fill in here so you can see this global settings so you will just click on this global settings so in this you have to fill the details given below uh, in the image like file path decimal separator date format um, you know the data format or the separator decimals enclosure or this toggle button so here you can see certain toggle buttons uh, like with header or export product models first or the export variant uh, product just after the parent product model so for that you just need to turn that to toggle button either you want to enable it or disable it after that the next thing you need to do after filling up all these details or setting up this configuration in the global settings the next thing you need to go to the content section so for that you will scroll it up and here you will find this content so in the content section you will find certain details that you need to configure again so the first is channel so each export job can only be linked to one channel so please select the relevant channel of uh, products to export so here i am selecting e-commerce and the next is local so select one or more locals depending on your requirement so you have to select here the local so let me select uh, uh, english and uh, in this currency so you have to select here one currency so here i'm selecting uh, us dollar and uh, after that the attribute section so you can select which product attributes you want to export or all a few of them so click on this edit button to select the attribute so i have just clicked on this uh, uh, edit button now here to make your own attribute selection click on the left side to select a specific attribute group either all group or the one specific group so i'm just selecting the all group or all group to display the all attributes so the selected attributes will be displayed as columns in your export profile so from here i'm selecting this export uh, selecting these uh, attribute groups or the attributes so because i want them to display as columns in my export profile so after setting up the attribute now here you can see this option that is filter the product so you'll just scroll it down and now you can see that the filter the product so here you will find certain fields that again like the family status time condition category and the identifier so you need to configure all those here so you need to decide which products to export in the csv file so for that the very first one is the family so after that one or more product families to export in the csv file if you want to export products belonging to uh, specific families so click on this uh, drop down uh, list and then click on the families that you want to add in the field like the clothing shoes or the t-shirt so let me select this uh, uh, t-shirts uh, here as the family now the next is uh, uh, status so 
you can also filter on the status of your product so you, here you can find three options that is all enabled and the disabled so all to export all products whatever their status is you can select all if you are selecting enables that would be the default option actually so only to it will only export the enabled product and the disabled to only export the disabled products so from here you can set it so uh, i'm selecting it to all now the next is time condition so you can now export your product on a specific time condition so the the first one is uh, like uh, updated products over the last n6 days so to filter the product that were updated during the last six days uh, so enter the value enter six value and the next is no date condition so like that will be the default option so products are not filtered using this condition and updated products since this date so to filter the products that were updated during a specific date select a date and the last one is the updated products since last product export so it will export the products updated since the last export now the next uh, field is category so you can configure the categories of the channel tree you want to export so for an for an example you want to export the clothing products to update so you can do it from here so by default all the categories exported so you will click on this edit button and to select a category and uh, the categories of the channel tree are displayed here so from here you can select the category that you want to display so here I'm selecting a certain categories and then you'll just need to click on this confirm button. Now the next field is identifier. So in the identifier basically what you'll do is uh, um, you can make a selection of identifiers to uh, export by adding them to the SKU field or you can copy and paste a list of identifiers separate them by using comma space or line breaks. So suppose if I write a white underscore t-shirt underscore blue comma underscore blue and then uh, underscore t-shirt comma red and uh, t-shirt so like this uh, with the use of this uh, you know separators uh, or list of the you can write the list of the identifiers here and you need to just separate them by using comma space or the line break so uh, this is how i am writing it here and after configuring all these details in this uh, uh, filter the product section you will scroll it up and you will find this setup store template so in this you can select the template and after that click save button and uh, follow you need to follow the you know further step to execute this profile so here i am selecting one template that is test and uh, after that you just need to click on the save button to save this export profile and uh, after creating and filtering data in the export profile, you can see the export now button in Akinio here. So what you need to do is now that after clicking on save button, wait for the execution. So you need to click on this export now button. So once you click on this export now button, you need to wait for the execution process to complete and check the errors. So after the completion of the export job, all the products will appear in the CSV file. So here the uh, export profile has been created successfully the um, export now uh, but uh, you know uh, that execution has taken place so here you can see this uh, download files so from here you can download your CSV export file so you can see that the file has been downloaded so we have successfully created this uh, export profile and uh, we have downloaded the export file and uh, now uh, suppose if you want to after the you know uh, if you want to generating the csp file you want to upload the csp file in a e-commerce channel so for an example you have generated the csp file for the shopify store so now you have to go log into your account shopify store admin panel and you will navigate to the products and all product then you have to click on the import so by this you can import that csp file and after the successful import you can see the products in the shopify product list here so as you can see on the on this screen so uh, this is all about Akinio custom csv export module i really hope that this video helped you out in understanding the workflow of the module if you still have any query doubt suggestion please get back to us at support at the red webcool.com you can also raise a ticket at uvdesk.webcool.com thanks for watching the video goodbye